Hey everybody, it is day 39 of alternate day fasting. Today is a fasting day. It is also the beginning of week six, part two. Um, today has been going pretty good. I haven't really been all that hungry. It's Friday, which is my favorite day of the week. I swear, um, I'm just hanging out with Aria before I have to go to rehearsal. I'm a little bit worried about leaving her tonight because she's been sick, so I literally like set up this a weird monitoring system to um, check on her while I'm gone because I'm just like next level crazy. <laughs> Poor dog, I'm petting her right now. Um, but she's been feeling a lot better, so I don't think that I need to be worried. I just am me, so I just worry about everything. I have Romeo and Juliet tonight. I'm a little bit nervous about the snow forecast, although it doesn't look like it's gonna start snowing until well after I'm home, which is good. And then we're supposed to get snow kind of all weekend, so we'll see how that goes. There's a chance that tomorrow's show could be canceled, which I would probably be okay with because I love snow and it would be fun to stay home and watch it with Ari and I wanna go like on walks with her, but we'll see. The weatherman is fickle. I suppose I should say weather is fickle. There's not really a good agreement on what's gonna happen down here in Eugene. Portland's gonna get slammed though. Shouldn't have moved, although I can't deal with that traffic. It's the worst. <sighs> Yeah, that's about all I got so far for today. I will bring you along to the theater, see if anything fun happens there, and I'll check in with you later, or maybe tomorrow, because I usually don't check in in the evenings. Okay, bye. Hey everybody, it is day 40. Today was an eat day. Um, started out the morning by going to breakfast at off the waffle to get my favorite goat in the headlights because i love goat cheese and it was delicious and everything i wanted it to be and then for lunch i had a um lean cuisine lasagna that's been in my refrigerator i'm trying to get rid of all the food that i have here and now we're gonna have some pizza because it's National Pizza Day. And I do have some calories left over. I did not even eat close to my TDEE for today. I was gonna try to not because my weigh-in is coming up on Monday, but whatever. I'm gonna do it because it's National Pizza Day. And I just, I just want it. <laughs> I eat so much pizza. That's one thing that I've learned from like editing these videos is how often we eat pizza. Cause we eat pizza like all the time. It's no wonder that we're so chunky. Cause we just love pizza. And if anybody tells me that I can't eat pizza and still lose weight, I'm gonna be like, that's not true. Cause it's happening. I will never give up pizza. I can eat pizza in moderation, yes. But I'm never giving up pizza. I just love it too much. I'm sorry that I went on that rant about pizza. <laughs> After we got breakfast, we went and took Aria for a little hike in the snow because she's feeling so much better and I thought she deserved a treat. Really, it was for me though, let's be real. So we went up to Spencer's Butte, right? Yeah, Spencer's Butte and we did a little bit of hiking on the trail. I was not wearing hiking appropriate shoes and I did fall down once. <laughs> so we didn't like go like super high up to the summit or anything, but just enough to have some fun with Ari. I really wanted to go take her off leash somewhere where she could enjoy the snow, but there just wasn't anywhere to do that. So maybe we'll find something like that later on in the week because I think it's supposed to be low snow level for like the next two weeks, so. I'm sure she'll get another shot at it. But that was really, really fun. She was so good with other dogs. My dog could sometimes be a bit of a jerk when it comes to other dogs, like, I don't know. I wouldn't say she's like super aggressive, like vicious or anything towards other dogs, but she just is like, 
she has so much energy and she doesn't really know because she wasn't really socialized when she was a puppy like she doesn't know boundaries and she doesn't know how to like properly approach another dog so she just like goes psycho and like jumps on them <laughs> it's like you can't do that to a dog like it's not gonna like it dude Ugh. but she was so good like we made her sit every single time there was another dog coming and she listened and she was just a good girl so that was fun then I came home and watched some Desperate Housewives, which I love. I love that show. And then it started snowing in Eugene, downtown, which it hadn't done. We were supposed to get all the snow, and we didn't get a single flake, really. And then it finally started snowing, and it stuck a little tiny bit, but then it was totally gone. And I was really hoping that they would cancel the show of Romeo and Juliet tonight. I'm not going to lie. I just didn't want to go. I didn't want to do it. And they didn't because the snow didn't stick. So I drove down to Cottage Grove and did Romeo and Juliet. And down there they actually had some snow still on the ground. And everything was just a sheet of ice. So I was like super freaked out to drive home. And then on top of that we got fog. So it was freezing fog. Everybody on the freeway was going like 40. It wasn't super bad or anything. I wasn't like terrified, but it was not ideal. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much my day. So it's been a good weekend day. Tomorrow's Sunday. Sad day. Sunday's the worst day because you have all that Monday dread. It's going to be a fasting day. Looking forward to that because I feel like after I have this pizza, oh, I've eaten a lot, but oh. yeah. Um, I will check in with you guys tomorrow, and I'll talk to you then. Okay, bye. Good evening, everybody. Today is day 41. It is a fasting day. Um, <clears throat> I had Romeo and Juliet today, so I was at the theater for most of the day, and I got home around 6, and I just was hit with like the worst hunger that I've had since I've started doing this. I feel like, I say that every single time, that it's really bad, but yeah, this was like a really difficult fasting day for me, and I needed to make some um, ham, and, or ham and potato and corn chowder, and um, I also needed to use up some red potatoes. So I also made some breakfast hash and I will tell you that I definitely taste tested both of those. And I'm weighing in tomorrow and I'm feeling really frustrated that I taste tested them. Especially because I'm pretty sure, oh there's a sash, <laughs> it's a cat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be having a loss tomorrow and there was a point in the day where it looked like I could have had one. <sighs> so I'm frustrated but this is just the game. This is how it goes and I know that and I just need to chill out. I really did want a weight loss this week but it's fine if it doesn't happen. There's always next week and this was only a three day fasting week and next week's going to be a four day. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much how my day went. Um, maybe I'll wake up to a surprise tomorrow on the scale. We'll just see. Fingers are definitely crossed. Um, I think it's okay that I ate that because I was hungry. Like, I don't know. Some days, it's not like I sat down and like really blew it. You know, I didn't like eat a giant pizza. I had, I taste tested stuff that I was cooking. Like, it should be fine. I shouldn't be making such a big deal of it. <sighs> but you know how it goes when you're trying really hard and you just have one of those days. Bleh. So Rob and I are going to see if we can find any snow because it's raining down here in Eugene right now. But he says it's a wintry mix. So we will see what we can find at higher elevations because I love snow. And I will catch you guys tomorrow and let you know how the weigh-in went. Bye! Hey everybody, today is day 42 of alternate day fasting. It is an eat day. For breakfast I had the ham and potato chowder that I made the other night that I sampled. And um, I also had a slice of leftover cheese pizza that only had about 225 calories in it. So, and then for dinner I had 
um, Nutrisystem beef bean bolognese. bolognese. Ugh, it was awful, but I'm trying to get through that food. <laughs> I don't even like beans, so that just like says how awful it was. Yeah, that was not the highlight <laughs> of the day for sure, but I got through it. Now I am out dashing. Um, I have about an hour and a half before rehearsal, so I wanted to like at least try to make some money because I haven't done it for a few weeks and extra cash is always nice because I really want to buy a house in <clears throat> a couple months. So yeah, it's good to get out and make money to pay for houses and stuff. What else can I tell you guys? So today was a weigh-in day, and I said in my last update that I did not think that I would be losing any weight this week. Well, that is not true. I actually lost 1.1 pounds this week. So I have now lost a total of 13.8 pounds um, in six weeks. So I'm pretty pleased with myself. I think I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. Um, and I'm just gonna keep doing it and doing it until all the weight's gone. I'm just feeling so much better and so much more determined and I'm just really convinced that this weight loss is gonna be possible and I can't wait to see where this journey takes me. I think I just got a dash. Yep, I did. Oh, yay. Okay, I have to accept it. So, oh, it's only $6 whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and do this dash really quick and I will chat at you guys later all right bye I just got home from rehearsal for sound and music dashing went well I only got two orders in the hour that I was working I got super lost on one of them like I was walking around for a good five minutes not really sure where I was going and I had to text Rob and be like, help, I don't know where I am. And then I got hungry and I knew I wasn't gonna have time to like stop home and eat before rehearsal. So I went to Chinese buffet and I got a plate of lo mein and some beef and a spring roll and a crab wonton. So basically kind of like all the things, but I had a lot of calories um, I'm just a little bit over my BMR with exercise added in, so not too bad. I'm going to go take Aria for a walk here in a minute to see if I can, um, A, progress my unicorn race because I only have like one mile in on that, and B, to get some extra calories burned so that I don't feel so guilty about eating that food which I do feel a little bit guilty about eating it because one, I shouldn't be spending money on food like that when I have stuff at home that I'm trying to like get through and two, it's just not a healthy choice, you know? And I feel like sometimes with alternate day fasting, I feel like I get in this mindset where because I didn't eat the day before, that gives me license to just eat horrible things the next day. And while it's true to an extent, it's not like a good mindset to be in because eventually I'm gonna start, you know, getting to where my BMR and my TDEE is not as high as it is. So I'm gonna have to get used to eating less calories and I don't necessarily have to get used to that now, but I should get used to making better choices. So for this coming week, week seven, which starts tomorrow, I'm really gonna try to focus on making some healthier choices, cooking some healthier meals when I get to that point, um, but like cutting down on the amount of pizza that I consume, not going to Chinese buffets, and just like overall making healthier choices. And if that means I have to eat a lot to make up for my calories, then you know, that's what it means. At least I'll be full and I'll know that I'm making the best possible choices for my body. So those are my goals kind of for next week. We'll see how I do. Yeah, rehearsal was a little intimidating. I think my original interpretation of this character is not actually the interpretation that the director wants to go with. So I'm gonna have to rethink some things. 
my delivery. I thought about it on the drive home and I think I kind of like have put myself in a headspace that I can try some things tomorrow. I'm also like one of those people, I don't know if any of you are actors or have done like musicals or anything, but um, I'm one of those people that has to like kind of alter my appearance a little bit to get into a character, like to like really kind of lose myself in it. And it's hard when you have a script in front of you and you don't know your lines. So I obviously I need to like get off book as soon as possible. I think tomorrow I'm gonna try wearing a dress cause I just feel like I might feel Elsa a little bit more if I did it that way. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's just kind of how I am. I like to, um, dress kind of in a similar style to what I think the character would, just to kind of give me an added boost. So I hope tomorrow's rehearsal goes better. I'm really hard on myself when it comes to like acting and stuff. Like I expect myself to be like darn near perfect every time. And in rehearsal, you're just not going to be. Like you're not going to be, and your interpretation of the character might be totally different than what the director wants. And that's what I'm there to find out, you know, like what he wants from me. And it was different than what I was originally thinking in my head. So I need to kind of rework and redo everything. It's the acting thing. It can be challenging, but it's so much fun. And that's why I love working for this director because he like actually has something in mind that he wants from you. And it's up to you to deliver on that vision, but also make sure that it's coming from a point that's like really true and authentic. And I think that's like the coolest challenge for me is to make something cool and authentic that wasn't my vision. So, and that's why I love working with him because I think he challenges me as an actress. This is like a whole side rant, but I'm gonna include it anyways because it's life and you should know my thought processes on things, I guess. It is the very last video of week six, part two. We're moving on to week seven and we're gonna be making healthier choices, like I said earlier. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button to hear more ramblings about dogs and theaters and cats and weight loss and Chinese food and pizza <laughs> and just general things. Um, and like the video too if you liked it. I'm gonna be putting out videos every Friday and every Tuesday. So make sure that you got that little bell on and that you're looking for those videos to find out how I did with life. Um, so yeah, that's the schedule. And I guess I'll see you guys next week. This is such a rambling video. Bye.